In this video, I want to talk about the finite sample properties of the Ward statistic, score statistic, and likelihood ratio statistic. Implicitly, in the last few videos, we have actually spoken about the asymptotic distribution of each of these different test statistics. So we actually said that the Ward statistic was under H0 being true, chi-squared distributed with Q degrees of freedom. But this only holds asymptotically. Similarly, we know that the likelihood ratio statistic under H0 being true is also chi-squared with Q degrees of freedom. And finally, the LM statistic under H0 being true is also chi-squared distributed with Q degrees of freedom. And just to reiterate, each of these properties only holds what we call asymptotically. So in the circumstance where the sample size tends to infinity. But in practice, we never actually work with infinite samples. So what we'd actually like to say is, is there a relationship between these test statistics in finite samples? And it turns out that there is. It is possible to prove that the value of the Ward statistic is always greater than or equal to the value of the LR statistic, which in turn is always greater than or equal to the LM statistic, at least in finite samples. And because we compare each of these test statistics to the same chi-squared distribution with Q degrees of freedom, we can say something about the relative chances of rejecting the null hypothesis in each of these different tests. Well, we know if we reject the null hypothesis on the basis of using the LM statistic, then because the LR statistic is always greater than or equal to the LM statistic, then we will also always reject the null hypothesis under the LR statistic. And similarly, because the ward is always greater than or equal to the likelihood ratio statistic, we will always reject the null hypothesis under the ward statistic if we reject it under the LR statistic, hence if we reject it under the LM statistic. Okay, so can we actually compare these three statistics in terms of their sort of statistical properties? Well, normally when we're talking about statistical tests, we talk about their size, which is the probability that we reject H0 given that the null hypothesis is actually true. So that's one property of a statistical test. The other side to that is what we call the power of a statistical test, which is the probability that we reject the null hypothesis given that H0 is false. So I hope you can see that these two concepts, both size and power, represent different desired properties of a given statistical test whereby we want the size of a statistical test to be as small as possible, hence we reject the null hypothesis the fewest amount of times if it is true, so we want the size to be smallest, and we want the power to be largest, so we want the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis if it is false to be as large as possible. And it actually turns out that these two properties of a statistical test are normally in opposition, whereby if the size of a statistical test decreases, then the power also decreases. So whereas the size decrease is desired, the power decrease is not desired. So if we compare the walled, the likelihood ratio, and the LM statistic in terms of these two properties, we can see that the size of the walled statistic is going to be greater than or equal to the size of the LR statistic, which in turn is going to be greater than or equal to the size of the LM statistic. And you can see this because essentially the ward statistic, if it had a size of let's say 5%, then we would actually reject the null hypothesis fewer times under the LM statistic because it's actually smaller in value. Hence, the size of the LM statistic is smallest. So in terms of this property, we would prefer to use the LM statistic. If we compare them in terms of power, we're gonna find exactly the same relationship. So the power of the ward statistic is greater than or equal to the power of the LR statistic, which is in turn greater than or equal to the power of the LM statistic. And the reason for that is, since the wall statistic is greater in value than these other two statistics, we're gonna reject H0 more often anyway. So that is why the power is gonna be largest for this particular test statistic. So in terms of the power property, we would actually prefer to use the wall statistic. Put another way, the reason for this difference in power is due to their difference in size. And it is actually possible to correct these test statistics such that they have exactly the same size. And then in that particular circumstance, the powers are very much comparable. So on the basis of these two properties, which of these statistics should we actually use? 
Well, it depends on the circumstance. If it is the size of the statistical test which is important, then perhaps we'll use the LM statistic. Whereas if it's the power, then perhaps we'll use the Ward statistic. And if we're sort of ambivalent between these two properties, perhaps we'll then use the LR statistic. But it really depends on the circumstance as to whether the size or the power of a test is the thing that's really important. So there's no simple rule for deciding between these three test statistics, and it's got to be guided by the exact circumstances.